Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to set up the Google Chromecast so you can get started with streaming YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, and much more on the big screen of your TV. Upon opening the Chromecast, you will find the Chromecast device, a micro USB to USB cable, and a power adapter. The first step is to plug in the micro USB cable into the Chromecast. Next, plug in the HDMI end of the Chromecast into an HDMI port on your TV. Next, if your TV has a USB port, you can plug in the USB end of the micro USB to USB cable into here. Or you can plug the USB cable into the power adapter that comes with the Chromecast and then plug the power adapter into an outlet. Once you have everything plugged in, turn on your TV and press the input slash switch button to change the input to the right HDMI port. Once you choose the right HDMI port, you will see this message on your TV screen prompting you to download the Google Home app. So the next step is to download the Google Home app from the Google Play Store for Android phones or the App Store for Apple devices. Once the Google Home app is downloaded, open the app. Tap on Get Started. Now you will see a list of Google accounts you are signed into. Choose the Google account you want to use for the Google Home app and tap on OK. On the Location Access screen, tap on Next and from the pop-up, tap on Allow. You will now be taken to the home screen of the Google Home app. To set up your Chromecast, tap on the plus icon from the top left corner of your screen and then tap on Setup Device. Tap on New Device. Now you will be asked which home the Chromecast is being set up in. Choose a home and tap on Next. Now the app will try and locate your Chromecast. Once it finds the Chromecast, make sure that the Chromecast ID is the same as the one shown on your TV screen. If it is the same, tap on Yes. If it cannot locate the Chromecast, make sure you have Bluetooth turned on on your device. Now if the code on your phone matches the one displayed on the TV, tap on Yes. Now you can choose to optionally send crash reports to Google. Next, you will be asked to choose a room for the device. Choose a room and tap on Next. The next step is to connect to Wi-Fi. Choose your Wi-Fi network and then tap on Next. Make sure you choose the same Wi-Fi network that your phone is connected to. Now you can have the password automatically entered or enter it in manually. Once you're connected to Wi-Fi, you will be asked if you want to link your Chromecast to your Google account. Choose either Not Now or Next to proceed. Now you will be asked if you want to link Google Assistant with the Chromecast. Scroll down and tap on Next. To link Google Assistant with your Chromecast, scroll down and tap on Turn On. If you do not want to link Assistant, tap on No Thanks. Finally, you will see a screen showing a review of what was set up. On this screen, tap on Continue. Your Chromecast will now update to the latest software version. This will take around 3 to 4 minutes. Once the update is finished, you will see a message saying the Chromecast is ready to use. Tap on Continue to complete the setup process. Now you can optionally watch a tutorial to learn how to cast. I'm going to skip this and show you how to do it. All you have to do is simply open up YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, HBO, or any other compatible Chromecast app and look for the cast icon. Simply tap on the cast icon, select your Chromecast from the list, and play a video you want to watch. The video you choose to play will be casted on the big screen of your TV. While the video is being casted, you can continue to use your phone as normal and the video will continue to play on your TV. Another neat feature is that you can control the volume of the video from your phone. So if the video is too loud on your TV, you don't need to go hunting for the TV remote. You will also see this Chromecast icon in, on any device that is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Chromecast. So if you open up YouTube on your computer and play a video, the Chromecast icon will appear there too. And clicking the icon will play the video on your TV. And that's it for this video. This video took a lot of effort to make, so if it helped you out, hit the subscribe button 
to stay tuned for more videos like this. Also like and share this video.